Bracket, WNST, Towson, Baltimore, and Baltimore Positive. It's another football week around here. Another week for the Maryland Crab Cake Tour. It's all presented by our friends at the Maryland Lottery in conjunction with Goodwill. Win donation. I got a little win donation shirt on right now, 86690 Nation. And of course, the Restaurant Association of Maryland, where I hope you were all well fed during Restaurant Week last week. And uh, we're going to be this week on Thursday at the Beaumont. We're going to be there a little early, one to four. And then, of course, moving along each and every Friday throughout the football season. Make sure you're checking it out. We call them wise conversations. I have filled my cup. Uh, she's back. Uh, you know, Hannah Grady's becoming like furniture here on the <laughs> on the Baltimore Positive <laughs> podcast here. Uh, at some point, we'll get Dennis and Jamie and the rest of the crew back in. But wise for school is something that's important. Everybody's been going back to school. Hannah and I have been talking tailgates and family dinners and getting people together. But you guys uh, offer a program that's really an incredible thing that a lot of schools here in the area are involved in. And I know you all would like to get more involved. She is in Sunbury, Pennsylvania, where I... Once ate ice cream right off the factory floor. What's going on, Hannah? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Excellent, excellent. Kids are back at school. I mean, sun starts to set earlier. I have to put long sleeves on underneath of all my T-shirts to keep me warm here. Uh, but I know you guys have something that really goes on and something that you're very proud of. And uh, we've talked about this in the past, but I just want to bring everybody uh, into the light on this because I have so many friends of mine my age who have kids. Uh, and um, and this is a great community thing that Wise does. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, I've kind of teased about this before in a previous episode, but, you know, we're always proud to talk about our Wise for School program. It's been going on for a couple of years where um, Wise customers um, can actually link up their uh, rewards card with their local school. Um, and uh, it'll go on for the entire school year. I believe this started on September 6th. And, you know, customers have um, up until April 30th, which is typically like around the end of the school year, uh, to help support. Uh, their children's school. Well, listen, uh, yeah, back when I was single, I dated teachers. Back when I was single, I had a, teachers that were roommates. Now that I'm older, I talk to teachers. And obviously, Don <laughs> Moeller being here, former principal, every school teacher I know, like, it's it's an American issue. They never have enough, right? Like, I mean, yeah. supplies, things, teachers reaching into their own pockets. We, we know all about this. This is something to aid that, but more than that, something to sort of spread it around to everyone, right? Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, I, I I can totally understand. I come from a family of teachers, my mom's side of the family. I like generations of teachers. So I, I totally How understand. How good you turned out. See what happens when your parents I are know. teachers. I know. I broke the chain. <laughs> <laughs> but I totally understand what teachers today go through, Um, you know, and it's kind of hard. And a lot of teachers are actually going through their own pockets to purchase, uh, you know, important school supplies, which is why we we are going to be distributing an even share of $50,000 for however, however much the customers raise for their child's school. And uh, like I said, um, when the program ends on uh, April 30th, which is typically like around the end of the school year, we will be evenly distributing those um, earnings to those local schools where they can use it for specific um, requirements that they needed. Because, you know, sometimes I, I've heard schools where they need calculators or they maybe needed some new books or maybe they need some new gym equipment. So, I mean, it just depends, but it really helps uh, a lot of our schools within uh, our, all of our different areas. Well, you know, so I, I graduated a long time ago, but both my high school and my elementary school have been completely torn to the ground and rebuilt. So Dundalk mm -hmm. High, I'm a Hall of Famer. A couple of years ago, they reopened five years ago and tore it down. And I went over there and it's unbelievable what a modern school can look like versus what mine looked like. More than that, my elementary school was built like in 19, like in the 19 teens last year. Oh, you know, wow. Like last century. It was a hundred year old school. And, you know, even 15, 20 years ago, kids were out in trailers because the school wasn't big enough. It certainly was not built to be modern. They raised the school. My son still lives over in that neighborhood. And uh, about a year ago, we had the ribbon cutting. Johnny O, who's our county executive here, I gave him a hard time. I made sure that I was invited to the ribbon cutting. But I, just the modern school and kids with 
devices and it's not pencils and pens. By the way, I got this pen at Wise Marcus because I'm a four color guy. You know that about me. That's <laughs> the way I learned. Um, but but schools, not everyone has a new school. I guess my point is both of my schools, I've gone back on the east side, Baltimore County. We're doing good things here, Baltimore Positive, right? Like building schools. We have problems in the city with air conditioning on hot days, all of these issues. But everybody's trying to pitch in. And I think, you know, it's certainly something that Wise Markets is always involved in month to month with rounding up, doing charity things but the school part of this there's nothing more important than our kids yeah absolutely and I mean you know like I said before it's it's just a great cause to help the kids you know you know whether it's they need something for gym class or something that they need for their upcoming math class or uh English classes or, or anything like that See, I'm just thinking about like, you know, tissue paper and plants in the room and all the things Miss Johnson did back in sixth grade at Colgate <laughs> Elementary School. Hannah Grotty's here. She's the Wise Markets. Uh, the Wise for School program has begun. I hope everybody's rounding up. We're going to be talking about all sorts of things going on with Wise uh, through the fall and the pumpkins. Uh, by the way. Got pumpkin spice, uh, pumpkin uh, ice cream last week. I found it. <laughs> and I'm weird about like pumpkin and eggnog. You know this about me. But when I see it, I grab it. Because I'm like worried, especially now that I've been to the factory and I found out that nobody likes eggnog but me. So when I see it, <laughs> I grab it. But I did get some pumpkin ice cream last week. For, so for folks to go in to be involved in this, like as an example, I went to Dundalk High. I love Colgate Elementary. It's where I went. My son went to Perry Hall. How, how does this work? So I go in. You know, I'm, I'm registered. I mean, I have my rewards card right here on my phone, right? So I pull it up. What do I have to do to enact this? And do I, like, assign a school as just like a dude who, you know, sort of lives in Towson now, but maybe I want to help a certain school? How does that work? Sure. So the first step that you can do is to register uh, your school online at wiseforschool.com. Um, you know, and like I said, you know, this started on September 6th. So, you know, you it's have, fresh. you can do it. You have time. Yeah, right? you can definitely do what you got. You definitely got a couple more months left with this. Um, but once your school is fully registered, um, supporters can scan a specific school's barcode, which can be found at uh, your local uh, wise markets. Um, and then, you know, when you check out, it'll, the barcode will be linked up to your wise rewards card. Um, so then, you know, up until once, you know, after you register it, you can just keep scanning your uh, wise reward card and uh, the system will kind of link your card within uh, that school that you registered with. All right. Well, I got my eat better spend less that's wise app up right now on my phone make sure you're linking all of that stuff together make sure you're picking up some ice cream we talked tailgate stuff last week my wife and I, you got me all hungry for a tailgate last week so i went in <laughs> and uh, they had some some roma sausage local company so i saw those just the regulars picked those up we picked up some buns that's well you know i'm home watching the games now there's a long story about the Ravens and credentials. I used to go to the games. I've been going for 26 years. So this is a little weird for me, right? Like I'm home watching games on TV every week. Sunday morning, I say to my wife, what's the tailgate menu today? What are we going to do today? <laughs> and, you know, last week we were going to go with wings, but I told her, I said, wings make my fingers a little messy. And mm -hmm. I got to, you know, worry about typing because I'm, I'm out on Twitter in real time on the game doing the social media thing. So tailgate food for me, I've learned it involves a bun or it involves a fork or a spoon or, you know, something like that. Um, but like sticky ribs, wings, that's after the game. Can't do that during the game. It's before or after is what I've got to do. But I know we've got the football on our brain. How's Penn State doing up there? Well, you, you know what? You guys are all Penn Stated up up there, right? Yeah, we, yeah, we are. They've actually been doing very good, knock on wood. Um, they recently just played against Central Michigan. And I believe, if I'm correct – Without looking at the schedule, I believe they play Northwestern this weekend. Big 10 matchups, man. They're everywhere. You know, yeah. I mean, Maryland gave a go at Michigan. We tried to help you Penn Staters out and the Ohio State people out by beating Michigan. Came close, <laughs> but not too close. <laughs> Hannah, I appreciate you as always visiting here. Make sure that we're uh, up to date. You know, that my rewards is all where it needs to be. Soon enough, we'll be talking about the holidays. We'll be talking about Thanksgiving. And certainly, uh, I made my first trip out uh, for some apple cider last week. Uh, my wife has apple pie on the brain. We're talking, like, 
stews and soups and tortellini soups and mm -hmm. all of those things we find out of Wise Markets up on your fantastic uh, recipes and different sort of bright ideas on your podcast. So some point I'm going to come on your podcast and you're going to, I'm going to roll my sleeves up. And we're going to cook something. What do you think? I'm down for that. I've been to your little kitchen. You have a little kitchen up there in Sunbury. Like you, you have like a studio kitchen, like Julia Child. Yes. I mean, I don't know if you would say Julia Child, but I'd I mean, save the pate, you know? <laughs> yeah, but we definitely do have a little uh, kitchen studio here where we do a lot of our like Facebook recipes. But yeah, I mean, that sounds like something fun that we could do. Do you know who Julia Child is or did I just throw you off? No, I know who Julia Child is. Right. No mess with the French chef now. She's a legend. <laughs> you know, when I was a kid, and this shows you how old I am, because I know you think of me as a contemporary, you know, like, but <laughs> I'm so old that we only had four channels of TV. And channel 67 and 22 was the, you know, was the the uh, PBS station here still is. And, mm -hmm. um, and, and Julia Child would come on and she was the only, her and Yang Ken Cook who did a lot of Asian dishes and taught me how to make fresh pasta and stuff. But it was just Julia Child. That was it. Now they got all channels to learn. You got your own channel. You've got your own Julia Child set there. I want to come make some meatloaf or something with you. All, all right. <laughs> or we could make something for fall or, you know, when, when the holidays come up, we could do something festive. Listen, my wife, I told you this. She went to baking classes up in Vermont at the at the the the, the mill, whatever it is that makes all the, the flour. Mm -hmm. And uh why sells it? I always forget the name of the brand. But she went up, she did classes, she came back here all ready to make pies, and I was ready to get the cinnamon ice cream and dump it on the apple pie. <laughs> and I don't know about you, but these cold mornings feels like I'm about ready for that again. I mean, I'm yeah. ready for apple, pumpkin. You know, I'm ready for Santa. I'm ready for Thanksgiving and turn. It's football season, you know, right? Yeah. I mean, these these next few months are going to be super crazy and they'll fly by. But I mean, I'm definitely ready for the colder weather, I guess you could say. My wife goes out to feed the birds every day. And mm -hmm. uh, and by the way, she gets the peanuts from why she gets the big, big <laughs> bags and she feeds the the squirrels and the peanuts in our area. She went out this morning and she said. I went out and I'm like, oh, it's brisk out there. And then brisk to me meant, mm -hmm. brisk to her meant, oh, it's nice. She's from New Hampshire. Oh, it's <laughs> nice out today. I said, no, it's not. I mean, it's ch it's chilly. I mean, if that feels good for you, fine. But like, I'd rather be stepping on the beach and, you know, have it be <laughs> 78 and have sand between my, I mean, I'm re literally. So I'm already thinking like that. And that's dangerous because it's slowly, you know, we got a long winter ahead, mm -hmm. but I am heartened by the fact that you're going to be here to help me with some stew recipes, some soup recipes. We're going to, pumpkin pie is going to get us through this. All right. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Anna Grotti, she is at Wise Market. She's one of their spokes folks uh, who uh, come on and uh, teach us some things. Uh, this week, it's Wise for School. If you got kids in school, or even if you don't like me, uh, take care of the old school. Make sure you register and help the kids out locally. Hannah, we'll see you next week, all right? Thank you for having me. They can't all have ice cream in them. I'll bring some ice cream next week. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm completely out of vanilla bean around here. It's about time to, to, to go hit that thing. Uh, the vanilla bean on the pumpkin pie, always. I am Nestor. We are WNST, AM 1570, Taos in Baltimore, cooking, eating, doing the Maryland Crab Cake Tour, and uh, trying to stay warm around here while we wait for the Ravens games. We are WNST, AM 1570, Towson, Baltimore, and we never stop talking. Baltimore, positive.